Fool's Gold. Once upon a time, there was a man named Jack who had never been lucky in his entire life. No matter what he did, he always seemed to come up short. He worked hard every day, but nothing ever seemed to go his way. However, one day his luck appeared to change when he found a shiny gold ring lying in the street. Jack couldn't believe his luck. He picked up the ring and examined it closely, and sure enough, it looked like it was made of pure gold. Jack was overjoyed, and he immediately took it to a jeweler to have it appraised. As Jack walked into the jeweler's shop, he could barely contain his excitement. The jeweler looked at the ring for a few moments and then handed it back to Jack with a strange look on his face. Jack asked the jeweler how much the ring was worth, but the jeweler hesitated before telling him the truth. I'm sorry to say this, Jack, he said, but this ring is not made of gold. It's made of brass. Jack was devastated. He couldn't believe that his luck had once again let him down. He had been so sure that he had finally found something valuable, but it turned out to be nothing more than a cheap imitation. Jack felt like a fool for getting his hopes up, and he couldn't shake the feeling that his luck was never going to change. As Jack walked home, he couldn't help but feel dejected. However, as Jack continued his walk, he noticed a commotion up ahead. There was a crowd of people gathered around a street performer, and Jack couldn't help but be drawn in. The performer was doing all sorts of tricks, and the crowd was laughing and cheering. Jack stood on the edge of the crowd, watching as the performer did his final trick. The performer pulled out a small box and opened it, revealing a bright light that seemed to shine like a diamond. The crowd gasped in amazement, and Jack couldn't help but feel envious of the performer's talent. After the show, Jack approached the performer and asked him how he had learned to do such amazing tricks. The performer smiled and said, It's all about perception, my friend. Sometimes things are not as they seem, but if you can make people believe in the magic, then anything is possible. This got Jack thinking about the ring he had found. Even though it was made of brass, it had brought him a moment of happiness and excitement. Maybe it wasn't worth much in terms of money, but the joy it had brought him was priceless. With a newfound perspective, Jack decided to try his hand at performing. He spent countless hours practicing his tricks and honing his craft. And slowly but surely, he began to gain a following. One day, Jack was performing in the park when a wealthy businessman approached him. The businessman was impressed with Jack's talent and offered him a job as a professional magician. Jack couldn't believe his luck. Finally, after years of bad fortune, he had found something he was good at. However, as Jack began his new career, he noticed something strange. Every time he performed, the ring he had found seemed to glow brighter and brighter. At first, he thought it was just a trick of the light, but soon he realized that something was definitely off. Jack took the ring to a different jeweler, and this time he was shocked to hear what the jeweler had to say. This ring is not made of brass, the jeweler said. It's made of an ancient metal that has been extinct for thousands of years. It's worth more than any gold you could ever find. Jack was stunned. He had never heard of such a metal, but he knew one thing for sure his luck had finally changed. He had gone from finding fool's gold to discovering a treasure beyond his wildest dream. And so, Jack's luck turned around, and he became one of the most famous magicians in the world. People would come from all over just to see him perform, and his ring would glow brighter than ever before. Jack knew that he had finally found something truly valuable, and he never took his luck for granted again.